Scott K 7 fev here with uh, Amateur Radio and Drone Adventures. Uh, going to put together a little video on what I did to run coax into our 2002 Keystone trailer. And uh, the problem being, here's our uh, model number if any uh, amateur radio operators have uh, got this model. We used to run it in our old trailer through the uh, port where the uh, AC goes in, but the problem here is ours is totally enclosed. So the cord's all bundled up inside there when it's uh, stored, and uh, a low light here, but it's all in a box, which is basically an end table for the uh, uh, for the couch. Well, I had a thought a while back to uh, put it in through the shower port, and I think I've seen some other people have done this before. Plenty of room on either side of the uh, shower. I've got to take off the panel inside to see if, make sure I've got enough room under the sink and uh, mount a panel on the sidewall toward the uh, kitchen to uh, feed those through. So that's a project I'm working on today. We're going to see if that actually works out. All right, continuing with the preparation, my plan is to mount this plate that I have made right here on the inside wall uh, of, the, uh, of the kitchen. And got this on Amazon. It was meant for, had F connectors, meant for uh, cable and just bought some feed-through SO239 connectors and I'll mount that on this wall, drill holes through, remove the panel under the sink, have a clear view of the uh, panel where the shower is in the back, all the plumbing under the sink, and then the wall over here to mount. And it should be fairly easy. I think this wall is, uh, is uh, double. Maybe some uh, one by twos in there, but should be easy to uh, drill through. And everything's going to be hidden underneath the sink here with the uh, the plumbing. So I think that'll uh, work out good. We'll uh, drill some holes and see how it goes. All right, success getting through the wall using a step drill. Had to drill from both sides. I drilled these and I went through with a uh, larger uh, straight drill to make my holes on the other side so I could match them up. But uh, that's what that's gonna look like uh, once I get it mounted. And uh, the wall is about three inches thick. So the strip drill did not go all the way through. But uh, here's the holes on the other side. And now I just need to make the holes in the shower pan and uh, connect them to that. So, uh, so far, uh, successful. All right, two holes drilled in the shower. Didn't quite get them uh, lined up straight but uh, left and right, and it'll correspond to left and right coax inside the trailer. Two of them, because I could run like a VHF UHF antenna and also run an HF antenna for uh, running my uh, 705. So that's the uh, reason for two. And now we'll get the uh, cables mounted from uh, inside and get them connected and installation will be complete. All right, installation complete on the outside. Got to go inside and do a little more tightening, but this is what it looks like outside. Left and right correspond to left and right coax connectors uh, on the wall by the dinette. All right, project complete. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Use the wire ties that came with the uh, pre-made jumpers. Kind of tie them together, make it look neat. And then there's the holes that go through to the uh, wall on the uh, by the dinette. And the receptacle here mounted to the wall. We'll see you next camping trip how it works. Thanks for watching. I'll have links to the parts that I used 
all ordered from Amazon in the description.